So part one, we fitted the Oxford heated grips. So what we're going to do now, we're going to wire in the Gerbing XRL gloves and then we can get out and road test the gloves. But the road test ain't going to happen today because it snowed. So it would have been a perfect, perfect temperature because it's freezing cold, but there's no way I'm riding the bike in that. So we might as well just get them wired in and we'll test them on the bike. So here's the gloves, the Gerbing XRL, heated gloves. So what we get is the glove. As I say, it feels nice. It's nice and soft. It's comfortable. Right, so let's have a look at what the features are on these gloves. So you get a bag of cables. Now what I've already done, you get one cable in here which wires to the bike. Now these gloves do have the option to have batteries so you can buy the batteries and they go in here but I've decided to go just with the wired version straight into the bike so you get a cable in here which has got a negative and positive connection to your bike battery there's an inline fuse in it so here's the cable running straight into the battery and what it's got is just that connector. So what we will do is this cable in here this cable wires goes inside the jacket. So this these come down each sleeve each side and then you have this part hanging at the bottom of your jacket so you then just connect your jacket jacket gloves sorry into that connector but what I'll do with these I'll run these wires inside the jacket but behind the thermal lining and all you do as these come down your cuff You just plug them into the glove. And what I'll do now, I'll switch these on and I'll leave them to warm up so we can see how warm they get. Then we'll talk about the glove. So press an old, that's on, press an old, 
that's on. So we've got blue, which is 33%, orange, which is 66%, and red, which is 100%. So that's the hottest setting. So let's just have a look at what these gloves are and what they've got. Now the reason I chose these gloves, I looked at quite a few of them and I looked at the RSTs, the Furigon, but out of all the reviews I read, Gerbing always come number one as the top review. So these gloves I paid 179.99 and if you go onto their website and you sign up to the mailing list, you get 10% off. So that's going to be the question. 179.99 for the gloves. I paid, I got these Oxford heated grips for £48 off Amazon. So there's a bit of a difference there in price and we'll see how they compare up to, are they worth 179.99 and are they worth £48? But anyhow, back onto the gloves. So the inside of these gloves, they've got Hippora, Hippora, I think it is, breathable waterproof membrane. So it's water resistancy, breathability, and water repellency. Now I think there's three layers inside this glove. Yeah, so there's just the liner, which is like a warm felt. Then behind that, I think you've got the Hippora level and then you've got the leather. The gloves are wired with Microwire Pro. So their wiring, I think there was a picture of it in here actually. Here we go. So it's hundreds of steel heated strands coated in a Teflon insulation. And these run all the way on the back of the glove, down the fingers and down the thumb. Now there's no heating on the palm or the inside of the glove. So I suppose you don't really want to grip something against heat. So I'd imagine it might get too hot. But already I can feel the heat on the outside of these gloves. So we've got some nice stretch in there. Right, knuckle protection. We've got knuckle protection here. We've got the scaphoid slider. A bit of palm padding, extra leather then the outside of the little finger and on the left hand thumb you've got a wiper blade for your visor. You've got a wrist strap, cuff strap and you've also got this little I'd imagine like waterproof layer which you can pull in. What? Let's see how warm it feels. Oh wow! Yeah, now that feels really warm already. So I can feel heat all over the back. I can feel it down the fingers. I can feel it round the thumb. I can even feel it kind of here as well, just on this side, on the outside of the palm. So they do feel actually quite quite warm they do. I'd imagine when you're riding in the wind, I suppose a bit of wind chill might take that away. But what I've heard in the reviews I've read is, is not to expect these gloves to feel red hot. The idea of them is in the cold and the wind chill that your hands just feel normal, normal and warm. So it takes away the cold from it. Yeah, I can definitely feel that already. I've got to say, they were nice. A nice fit. The only thing I've noticed with them, they fit absolutely perfect. These are on XL. The only thing I've found is, well, I don't know whether it's my thumb, whether I've got a short thumb. But the thumb just seems a bit longer than, than I need. That's not a problem. Well, it's... They feel... They feel comfortable and nice on the grips. So I'd imagine, with the outside of these being warm, probably in sub-zero temperatures, 
and the heated grips on. That should probably make near enough perfection on the ends. But they are feeling lovely. I'm quite hot now, actually, those gloves are. And that's on the hottest setting. So that's coldest, coldest, middle, middle, hot, hot. So I'm more than happy being wired into the bike. I didn't want to go for the batteries. I wanted to go for maximum power for as long as I needed. I know they do a one amp, a two amp and a three amp battery, I believe, for these. So you can get up to eight hours of battery life out of the gloves. But um, I wanted to go for the wired version. I don't see a problem with it. All this will be tucked away. But those are feeling really. I can feel it here as well. I can feel heat around the wrist. I don't know whether there's any heating elements up here. I can definitely feel it across the front of front of my wrist. I can, it feels that feels nice there, the warmth there. So all we need to do now is get out and try these on the road. And as I said, what I want to do is I want to try the gloves off and the heated grips off. Go out for about an hour, take the temperature of the hand. Then ride with a heated grip on, take the temperature of the inside of the end, outside of the end. Then put the heated gloves on and do the same temperature reading. Just so we can get a bit of a graph and see, see what the difference, what difference they make. That does feel nice, that does round here, that warmth. Actually, I can feel warmth up here actually, right up the cuff. So I suppose if you if you had these cuffs inside your jacket. Yeah, I'm not sure whether there is heating up here, up this part, but I can, feel, I can definitely feel it here. I can definitely feel heat in there. But they do feel, they feel nice, they do. They do feel really, really nice. They're not too stiff. I feel plenty thick and insulated. So I think even without the help, the elements, elements even without the heating elements on I'd imagine they're quite good protection because it does say they are not just waterproof but that Hippora layer is windproof as well also got touch screen for the phone and actually let's see if it works where's the phone camera Let's take a picture, see if it works. Let's take a video. Yep. So that works. That's the first set of gloves I've had with any phone interaction, layers, whatever you call it, which actually works. So that's the wiper. Right. Let's get these wired into the jacket and let's get out and try them on the road. Merry Christmas. 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 Right, we're going to put the wires in the jacket. We're going to put the wires in the jacket, bro. Okay, cables are done. So we've got a cable. Coming out there, runs up, across the back of the jacket, comes down this arm, and that's that one. And then what it does, as they run up, the Y piece, it comes down here. So there's the bit I plug in. So as you can see, there's the wire. That's to plug my gloves in. You know, me, me do Darth Vader gloves. Oh, yeah. Are those actually motorhead gloves? Yeah, motorhead gloves. What, not Vader gloves? Not me Vader ones, motorhead gloves. 
I thought you was not. I thought these were Vaders. Darth Vaders. Yeah, in that box. Maybe. <laughs> but maybe what? Nah, them motorhead gloves. Well, what was that? Like logo with it on fire? That was just the box it came in. Now they're just it because it looked like Vader gloves. Yeah. I think they're Vader style gloves. So when you're riding your bike, you look like Darth Vader. Does that sound good? Yeah, because it looks like Vader's. Because it has this thing to protect his hand. That's to protect you from the lightsaber. Yeah, because that's really hard because it's like solid plastic. That's right. Because that even hurts my fist. Yeah. So see you later. See you later. <laughs> right. So time to test the gloves. So what are we on? We're on minus two. It's still snowing. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to wear my normal leather gloves. So I'm going to wait till my hands get freezing cold. Then we're going to try these with the heated grips on. Just to see how the back of my hands feel. And then we'll try the heated gloves. So, without further ado, let's go and get cold. Now already, my hands are freezing because I've obviously been getting the bike out, so just take it easy. Oh, man, I can feel that already stinging my fingers. Just take it easy on these roundabouts. Still minus two. Well, let's go and do a few miles and then I'll catch up with you when I can't feel my fingers anymore. Right, I'm gonna have to pull in in a minute. We've done a few miles on this door carriageway up and down quite a few times then. I can't feel my fingers anymore. So, we'll try the heaty grips. Right, let's pull in. Let's pull in because I can't feel them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't even know if you can see out the cameras. Right, well, heated grips. Let's let them warm up a bit. Oh. Oh, I don't know if they're getting warm yet. They're just starting. What, well, this snow is getting quite heavy. I think we might do a bit more. Turn around, put the heated gloves on. Right, so I can feel them heated grips now. Those are starting to get warm. Right. Now, funnily enough, my hands are freezing. But the inside of my hands are not. And I think this is the thing I wanted to try out. Is our heated grips more, I wouldn't say more of a placebo, but the heat in the part of the end, what never gets cold because you're holding the grip. It's only the part of your hand, but I suppose over time, if you was driving all day long in weather like this, then I'd imagine your palms would be cold as well. But I think the real effect is the inside of your hands don't get cold. Right, we need to change that because we need to go around the island. I'll tell you what. This snow is getting quite thick. Doesn't look like it's sticking to the road yet, but I don't know if I don't know how much the the road surface is dropping if the temperature if it starts freezing. So right, now those grips are nice and hot, so I can feel the inside of my hands are nice and warm but the inside of my hands wasn't cold. 
the outside of my fingers are still they're stinging they're that cold so I've paid £48 for these Oxford heated grips so I'm just trying to think have I paid £48 for something I don't need this is what I'm trying to sort out see now the heated grips they are feeling lovely and warm I'm just wondering is it the sense of heat is it is it playing tricks on my mind because my body is sensing my hands are sensing heat so it's been very trying to tell me you, your hands are warm but they're not they're absolutely bloody freezing right now I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to pull in I'm gonna have to put these ET gloves on my hands can't take it anymore yeah, heated grips, working fine. Inside of my palms, actually, they are too hot. And I think that's what happened, is what I've just done. The inside of my palms get too hot, so I turn the heated grips down. So I'm not actually curing the problem to my hands being cold. Right. Let's get these heated grips on. Heated grips, I mean heated gloves, right. Oh. Heated grips. Nice try. Oh, I don't know if you can see the ends of my fingers now. Right. So let's plug myself in. So there's my cable. I don't know if you can see down here. I don't quite know if you can, but I've got a cable out my jacket. Right, that's plugged in. I've then got some cables here. So let's... I bet you ain't going to see nothing out that camera. Right. That's that glove plugged in. And I've got to say, I do like these nice big cuffs on it. Okay. That's one plugged in. Let's get this one on. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh. The insulation in these gloves already, oh, they're taking a bit, a bit of that bitterness away from the fingers. Right, press an old. Right, red. Red is full power. Amber. Red, okay. Let's see what, whoa! Now I know they're not, they don't get that off that quick, but already I can feel that across the back of my hands. Well, let's give that a minute to warm up and then we'll set off and we'll try it. Okay, we are ready. The gloves have heated up. They are nice and hot. And I've got to say, what an unbelievable difference that has made. I can't believe, oh, I can't believe how good my hands feel. I've sat there for a couple of minutes just to take the chill off my hands. I've got to say, that is one of the best things ever invented for the bike, eating gloves. Oh my God, seriously. That is probably the best thing I have invested in. And I've got to say at the minute, my feet are absolutely freezing. These heated gloves, I can still feel the heat across the back of my hands and around my fingers. They feel... It probably feels like when you've got the heated grips on about 50%, so they're not burning, but I can definitely feel the heat there. But I've heard a few other people saying that once um, you're out riding, 
the outside air temperature cools the glove down, obviously, which that's going to do. But it's just enough just to keep your hands at normal, normal warm temperature. My hands feel absolutely amazing. So what do I think? Heaty grips. Heaty grips, I think, are ideal. Maybe for an early spring, a summer's night, maybe when it's not too warm, just to just to put a little warmth into the palms, the hands. Just, I think, more so, just a bit of a. Um, I suppose it's just mentally telling you there's something warm for your hands. But for winter, for minus two degrees, and on art, heater grips don't do nothing. They haven't done anything for me. If anything, it just made me concentrate more on how cold my fingertips was. But these heated gloves, oh my god, I can't believe, I can't. I've got to say, I can't believe how impressed I am with them. Now, I did look at all the other uh, heated gloves. With all the reviews, I kept room for MCN and that. The Gerbing kept coming out as the number one glove everyone kept voting them so I thought you know some of the other gloves I was like 10 20 pound cheaper some of them were more expensive and I thought no I'm gonna go with what the review was let's try the review and I've got to say these are an amazing investment 179.99 the gloves were if you sign up to the mailing list you get 10% off so I did that I went for the wired version I haven't gone for the battery version I'm quite happy with them being plugged into the bike that doesn't create a problem for me I know some people don't like wired in but I'm happy with that I'd rather a full power than have to worry about how much battery life I've got left but I've got to say if anything it's now what it's minus one so it's come up a degree and I've got these gloves on the hottest setting now I need to turn them down my hands are getting a bit they are getting a bit too well, they're not hot it's not burning my hands but it's You know, my hands don't need to be this warm. So heated grips combined with heated gloves. I'll tell you what, that is brilliant, that is. The only thing which I'm noticing now is because my hands are so nice and warm and toasty, it's highlighting how cold my feet are. So maybe that's the maybe that's the drawback to it. Is that does it highlight the other parts of your body which are cold? Well, I'm very, very impressed with them. I didn't expect... Well, no, I did. To be honest with you, yes, I did. I did expect them to be good. I paid £169 for them. So, what? and actually, let's try... Yeah, the, the, the wiper works well. I did expect them to be good. Um, I got in the back of my mind, I was worrying if they were going to be rubbish and let me down, although I've wasted a lot of money. But I can feel all the heat, all the heat there. I can feel it round the thumb. Tips of the fingers are nice and warm. I can feel it down the sides as well. I can feel a lot here as well. It seems to be coming round this part of the thumb and the, just by the scape point there, the heat is. So that's, that's perfect. I suppose if you look at where your gloves are being exposed, it is the outside, it is the fingers. The part which you're gripping against something, so I'd imagine you've got your own body heat keeping that part warm, is the only part that doesn't have the heating element. And I don't think you need it there. But I am more, more than happy with them. So heated grips. Yeah, I would recommend eating grips for your springtime. Maybe cold, cold summer's night even, but winter, I've got to say, heated grips don't do nothing for me in winter. All they do is make me focus on how cold the tips of my fingers are. Now, they, I've got to turn them down. I've got to turn them down, turn down to minimum. That is unbelievable, that is. I'm very well impressed with them. I really, really am. Well, no, I haven't done massive miles. I've probably done about, what, 
about 23 miles so far out I've done about I'm trying to break this down what I've done about the first nine miles I did with just my normal gloves on narrated grips that was it nine miles minus two nine miles I couldn't feel my fingers so I pulled over put the heater grips on did about another three or four miles with the heater grips on which it felt nice on the palms but my palms wasn't feeling cold and then the rest of the mileage I put the heated gloves on and okay yeah I've only done probably what another nine ten miles in it but at minus two I would have expected of some of the other gloves where people have said oh once you're riding in the wind the temperature cl cools the glove down I would have expected that in ten miles in minus two so they have really really impressed me Gerbing thank you very much for making such an amazing product now I know Goose is going to want some of these because Goose feels the cold like nothing but that's the main part with me it's my I always find my hands suffer oh is it the same one was it I've just tried these out heated gloves Oh, amazing. Right. So, as I was saying, Gerbing. XRL heated gloves you know I didn't get these gloves free they wasn't giving me for a review I paid for them at my own hard earned cash and boy am I impressed with them they really are they really are good gloves couldn't recommend can't speak about the other gloves the other brands uh, not tried them I don't know what they are like but the Gerbing I'm happy with I don't need to look at some socks. Right, let's get this girl away.